Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a data moss transition effect in Avid EMX. So the first thing you're going to need is a clip ready to do this. So I've gone right here. You can either load in your clip by going to File, Open, and then loading in your clip that way, or you can just drag it in. I'm just going to drag mine in. Click No and it says this. Click No and this. Alright. Now, under Video where it says Copy, go down to MPEG4 ASP XFID and set it to that. And where it says Copy and Audio, change this to MP3 Lame. Then click on Configure below where it says the MPEG4 ASP XFID. And then go to Frame. Change your maximum iframe interval to a very high number. And then right here it says maximum consecutive B frames. Change this to zero. Okay, now go to File, Save, Save Video. And save your video wherever. And put .avi at the end of the file's name in order for the video itself to actually work fine in media players. Okay, and done. Okay. Now go to File, Close. Then afterwards, drag in your newly saved clip into Avid Emux. And then now, once you got it back in, you go ahead and you want to go ahead and edit a certain part of the video where you want the transition effect to happen. So basically, if I wanted it to cut from this frame right here to, say, one of the frames over here, basically you just click A right here. I'll set the edge for this one. Then go out here. Say I wanted to cut to this frame. Click on B, and it marks the right edge. So see, yeah, A, left edge, B, right edge. And it's going to delete all the frames in between this area. So it'll transition from this frame right here, and it'll transition to this one over here. So to actually cut out the frames, go to Edit, Cut, and, yep, as you can see, you delete the frames in between. Now, all you have to do is go to MPEG4 ASP XFID under where it says Video, Change this back to copy, and go to File, Save, Save Video. Name your video whatever, but once again, don't forget to put .avi at the end. And when I ask you to enable Smart Copy, click on No. And there we go. Now let me just show you the video, just to show you that it works. Give you a preview. As you can see, the frames blend into each other there in a glitchy way, which creates a data mosh effect. And yeah, that's basically it.